Hey y'all. Okay, so I'm here with a video. Um, I'm going to try to make it as brief and quick as possible. I'm using my cell phone because I want to get as much of the quality as possible um, and stuff. And also I'm in the bathroom and also I'm about to wash my hair. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because um, I want to actually tell y'all like, <laughs> like three or four weeks ago about what the changes are for my hair. So basically what's happening is that um, for some odd reason, I've been starting to get a lot of buildup and stuff. And, um, as my hair just gets longer and longer, it's like stuff just like piling up on my, uh, my hair here. And I'm going to focus. Okay. So I'm just going to try to find a, an area like right here. Okay. So like right here, it's always just at the root, like this white stuff. Hold on. It's like this white stuff that just it's weird and of course dandruff but that's normal <laughs> but it's just build up like see that it's just like why why do I have that oh I look crazy <laughs> um but so um what happened was a while ago when I had to wash my hair and get my retype um I used the Sislox shampoo I think it was the dandruff shampoo Oh my gosh, it made it even worse. It made my whole entire hair look gray. And it just took me back to where, um, when I was loose natural, how I had that gray looking hair because it was so dry or something. Oh, I just noticed it's not focused. Okay. So, I was like, what is happening? So, I was just freaking out like, yo, it is like gray. So, um, I told my mom I needed her help. So, and she told me about the apple cider plus a little bit of baking soda rinse so we did that and it helped immediately you only add just a little bit of baking soda just a little bit not a lot um but it helped majorly it made my hair back to black again it moisturized it i guess and it just made it look really good so i told my electrician rose about and everything and so she recommended me trying to find a clarifying like a very clarifying residue free like sudsy free uh shampoo so i tried and tried to look for something at walmart i don't really know if this will work but i'm just going to show you guys just in case if it does this is the tresemme um purify and replenish deep cleanse for hair prone to build up shampoo okay so i got this real deal stuff right here i'm going to use it on my locks because I want to see if this actually helps it not like get all sudsy. And if it does, at least if the suds will get the build up out like it says it should and it has vitamin C, um, hopefully it will just do that. So I'm not going to add any conditioner or anything just because I never do it for my retight. I do it afterwards some like a couple days or so later or whatever, a week later or whatever. Um, but... We're going to try this out and y'all are going to witness this. So I'm going to wash my hair. Um, I can't do take a video because I don't have a tripod for my phone or anything. But I'm going to show you how this lathers on my hair, how it looks like with my with it in my hair. Then I'm going to rinse it out and then show you if there's still stuff in there or how many rinses I had to do or whatever. So we'll see. <laughs> so I know it's a lot to take in. Just let it sink in for a minute and I'll be right back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ooh, this is crazy. Uh, I feel like I have my phone backwards. Hold on for a second. That's right. Okay. Hopefully this is right. But okay, as you can see, it does get sudsy. Um, I only did two big old, like, I would say maybe two quarter sizes in my head. And it said to work into the scalp and then bring it from the scalp all the way down to the end of the hair. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And man, my hair is so vibrant. And yo, this stuff smells really good. When I put it in, I was like, wow, this smells really good. Like fresh and clean. And so I squeeze it into my locks as well. And man, my red is popping now. This is still the same color. I still have not retouched it or anything. I don't think I will retouch it, to be honest. I don't I don't know yet. Depends on how I feel. But man, look at that. 
So, so far I'm liking it. I mean, we'll have to see if it gets this stuff out. I'm going to have to really work into it. And hopefully this isn't going to make it worse. But if it does, I, I, I mean, not that I'm hoping. But at least you'll see exactly what I'm talking about whenever I wash my hair. Uh, but, see, see that icky white stuff? Hold on, I'm going to have to focus so you can see it. Hold on. Sorry, my breath. Every time I wash my hair, it's a struggle. Okay, so see that? It's like white stuff. Whew. Uh, and it's getting hot in here. Uh, but yeah, see what I mean? Uh, okay, so yeah, we we shall see how this goes. So I'll be back when. I'm done with it out and I'll tell you how many times I had to shampoo it or whatever. So, um, I'll be right back. But man, look how long my hair's gotten, y'all. It's like, hold on, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Oh my gosh. It's like two years and nine months. And tomorrow I get my retake. Ew. So, all right, let me get this stuff out of my hair. My eyes starting to burn a little bit. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I just rinsed it. Uh, I, before I rinsed it, I put a little bit more shampoo, just to be sure. Uh, just one more quarter size. Uh, or maybe a little bit more than a quarter size. But, I mean, I mean, it kind of, to me, kind of still, it looks brown slash black. Like a healthy, it doesn't look gray-gray like how I normally would with the Sisolock shampoo. It actually looks pretty dark. For right now um so I'm, I'm pretty happy about this and i don't see any build up which is a good thing like a very good thing like i made sure i got deep inside of each lock as much as i could like right here i mean you could see there's still build up right there but i think if i could just squish it i don't know let me see i don't know but that's like the only build up that i see that i I don't know, man. I'm sorry. Let me... Hold on. There we go. So you can see it. I mean, I guess the camera doesn't really do it justice. There's build up there. Uh, this little part. Yeah. Get that white out of there. Uh, but it helped a lot. I think I'm going to shampoo it one more time just to see. Uh, let me check this side as well. Hold on. Sorry, I don't know what you saw there. Oh, wow, this side looks really good. Let me see the top. Um, I'm using my camera, too, just to um, be able to see the top of my head as well, because I can't see. Ah, it looks pretty clean. It doesn't look ashy at all. Much better than the Sistol shampoo, which is a shame, because I really enjoyed the Sistol products. I really, really did. Um... See right here, you can kind of see this looks a little white. I think I I didn't rinse this off. This is like still shampoo, and I think so. I don't know if I even want to shampoo it again, but I mean, let me see. Let me go even deeper. Um, this looks absolutely clean. Like this is the cleanest I've seen it in months. Cause I've been dealing with um, let me see, not. Well, the white that you see here is my gray hair. <laughs> yes, I have gray hair. I had that on this side since high school. But I've been dealing with this ever since my hair started getting into my 